Yo, what is up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to check your CPU slash GPU temperatures and some other information on your PC in order to make sure everything is running accordingly. So first things first, we're going to head over to the download link that I put in the description and we're going to go to over portable and free download and then we're going to be pressing local. If local doesn't work, if you click in nothing downloads, you can just press the one right under it or the faucet. So I'm going to be using local, it's going to download it and then we're just going to be Clicking on the zip file and then we're going to go over to hardwareinfo64.exe and we're going to double click on it and make sure you're opening this with 7-zip or WinRAR and then we're going to make sure we're going to check sensors only and press start. Now as you can see a lot of information and lots of numbers in this window. What we are looking for are our CPU sensors and for Ryzen you want to look for TCL slash TDI CPU. This is, you just gotta scroll down a little bit and you'll see it. For Intel, uh, it should pop right, right up or you might have to scroll down. It should be core temperatures or CPU package. And basically, you just wanna make sure you have nothing open as of right now. You just have like, for example, Discord or some other app that doesn't take that much uh, CPU usage. And you just wanna check the CPU temperatures. Now, for a lot of you, it's going to be about 50 to 60 degrees or 40 to 60 or 30 to 60. It depends on your cooling and it depends on how, how hot your room is currently. So right now, mine's about 50 to 60 degrees and my room's pretty hot right now. I'm not going to lie. As you can see, not bad temperatures at all. Very, very decent. What you want to look for is if you are above 70 degrees with nothing open, you're going to need to check your cooling. You might need a new CPU cooler or you might need to change your thermal paste. If you're on a pre-built, it might just be your CPU cooler. Lots of pre-builds give you faulty CPU coolers. And if that's the case, I'll link a good CPU cooler in the description. It's an all-in-one water cooler, but it's worth the money. Also put a air cooler in there. It's pretty cheap. It's about 50 bucks. It's the U12S Redux from Noctua. But you guys can do your own research and pick whatever you want. I'm just going to leave two recommendations in the description. But anyways, if your temperatures are fine on idle, or like mine kind of, what we want to do to double check them even more is we want to open up a game that we like to play a lot that is CPU intensive. Now, a lot of you have been playing Valorant, Warzone, or night so most of you are going to be opening up either one of these games and checking whatever the temperatures are with them so i'm going to be opening up fortnite because that's the only thing i have installed right now and while the port while the game is starting up check your sensors in the hardware info and check what it's going up to if you start exceeding 75 degrees while even just booting it up not even loaded in you're going to need to turn up your cpu fans or again replace thermal paste or the cpu cooler so for me i'm reaching about 58 60 degrees with the game opened still starting up but as you can see it's about 60 degrees which is really good uh this is what you want the temperatures to be at uh you won't have any issues with this you're all good to go if you're at this however if you're on 80 degrees or 90 degrees or even 100 you need to just look for a cpu cooler like i said in the description or get replace your thermal paste or clean your pc if you've dropped something on your pc and went all inside of it then that's probably the case and you might need to replace more than the cpu cooler probably case fans and a lot more other things but if it's really dirty you have dust blocking everything maybe a clean should be good enough and you should be good to go but again you want to double check because anything above 75 degrees you're going to experience thermal throttling and that's whenever these the core clocks CPU go down to tremendously low and you're going to just be experiencing FPS drops, stutters, freezes, and if you get to the point of really high temperatures, you're going to experience PC crashes where the PC completely turns off because of how high the temperatures are and needs to turn off in order to protect itself from damage. You want to really, really make sure you're on low temperatures. High temperatures cause a lot of issues. A lot of people ignore this. You shouldn't ignore this at all. It, your CPU can degrade itself with this and it's just you're not running at the best performance you should be running at if you're at really high temperatures that's pretty much it really quick really easy way to check just with this tool and again tips to fix it clean your pc if it's really really dusty and you should be cleaning your pc every two to three months depending on where the pc is if it's on the ground on carpet i want you to elevate it or put it on something that's not on the carpet because if it's on carpet it's going to attract all the dust from the carpet inside the PC and just trap the airflow. And also you wanna have your air cooler pushing air out. Some of you have had the air fan on the left side instead of the right side of the case. So for example, 
I'll show a picture right here of what a wrong setup of the CPU air cooler looks like and what a right CPU air cooler looks like. And as you can see, the left, the left one is really bad. It's pulling the exhaust air in to the CPU heat sink instead of pushing it out. The right one is the right because it's pushing it in. It's in through the front and out through the back or out through the top. That's what you want to have at. Uh, there are more optimal conditions. Uh, you could do your research on that. Gamers Nexus has a pretty good video on that. Do that or replace your CPU cooler with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 or 280. I'll be linking that in the description. Really good cooler, great value. Also be the best liquid cooler you can get. Make sure you don't get the RGB version. RGB, just it causes heat. That's just going to transfer over to the water in the, in the cooler. You don't want that. For air coolers, the Nocto NHD15 is really, really high end, but it's really big. That's the issue with that. And the Arctic's more of a value if you're considering overclocking. Also, replace your thermal paste. Usually, MX4 thermal paste or any like type of decent thermal paste from like the biggest brands like Noctua, Arctic, that type of stuff are pretty good. If you do care about overclocking, you might look into Cryonaut, Thermal Grizzly from them. Uh, some of the thermal pastes, they do lower temperatures by a couple of degrees. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down if I helped you spot out what your problem is with your PC.